When I was, when I, since I remember my memory goes back that I was, what, four or five years old, I remember that I used to urinate. I used to do a lot of pressure with a real uh, thin stream that, uh, that sometimes would by the pressure that I had a, a urinate blood. And, and it's painful. It's painful, like I say, not knowing when I was gonna get sick. If I was at work or I was, I was even in bed, it was a couple of times that I had to wake up in the middle of the night to go urine, and I was plugged up. And the feeling, the feeling of they need to go to urine, urinate, use the bathroom, and not be able to for a couple of hours and the bladder full, that's, I won't, I won't wish for another human being to feel that, to feel that. Sometimes the dry is from the, not from this house, from other houses that, that I live, to the ER, it was eternity. It was eternity. And my, and my urethra, it was so thin that they didn't have, they didn't have, back in the day, they didn't have the catheters from different sizes now. They only had like one size fits all. So they had a hard time trying to put the catheter in there. They had to go with the, with the wires first, trying to open it, and then the catheter, trying to push it in there. And the sensation that you feel for the catheter to go through in there is bad. And at the same time, they, I want to urine, urinate, and I wasn't able. And when the catheter went in there, and then just like putting the holes into a bucket and then just water running through the holes. You suck it in a little bit and run it right through the holes. That's what it was. And I can see on the back or the, the, the bacteria that it was building in there. But I knew, I knew it, it was just temporary. That they wasn't done, not, that they wasn't doing nothing to help me in the long run. That I knew the next day it could happen. It can happen. I, I thought I was going to, I'm 46 years old. I thought I was going to turn, if God was going to give me life to live 30, 60, 70, the, in the same situation that I was. Not, not knowing of, of a cure of, of my, uh, my problem. Yeah, but it's, it's horrible. It's a horrible experience. And I had about, I must say about 11 procedures that they had to put me to sleep. They had to put me to sleep just to uh, correct the problem temporary, temporarily. I never knew or they used to give me an answer that this was going to do it. And you was going to be able to urinate like I used to. I, used, I always wanted it to urinate like other men. And some, somehow I was envy of another man when I was used, to, used to go to a urinal a public urinal that it was more men urinated. I had to stay there, I must say, between three to five minutes to try to empty my bladder. A uh, thin urethra at the star, right in front of uh, my prostate, it was a real thin one. And then it kind of opened again. If I'm, if I'm gonna give you an example, those, those balloons that you stretch and they do balls by by half, that's how my urethra was, with an opening and a closing, an opening and a closing, and uh, from all the way from my prostate to the tip of my penis. That's, that was the, the whole urethra, it was bad. When I got, my problems reoccurred in 2005. In 2005, it busted right in front of my urethra, I mean my, my prostate. And I had a ball, I wasn't even able to sit like I'm sitting right now because I had the ball there. It was so painful that I had to sit on my, on my side. So I went and saw my, uh, my urologist here in Las Vegas, in town, who he was going to do the procedure in September 2008. I believe, I believe it was the 23rd that he was going to do it. And he put me to sleep. He put me to sleep and while he did that, he put a telescope through my urethra and saw how bad it was that uh, he didn't feel confident to do it because he might damage my prostate. And, and by the end of the surgery, instead of helping me, he was going to damage me, that I was 
damaged me my prostate, that I wasn't going to be able to contra control my urine, and that I had to wear diapers for the rest of my life. And that's when he told me and gave me a phone number, Dr. Gailman in Orange County, and called him, and that's how I got to Dr. Gailman. But as soon as I walked into uh, to his office for, uh, for my first visit, my blood pressure, it was up the sky. I think it was 160 over almost 100. 100, and, and the nurse made me feel comfortable when he told me. But as soon as I stood, my first step in that office, she mentioned that I was in the best sense that I, I can be. And my confidence grew from there, and I didn't feel like, uh, like I was at the end of the road, that I was, I felt like that was it. That was my cure, that was my last stop. And every day that I did, I did feel like that. Myself, actually, with, with my insurance, uh, they never did say they denied the coverage from a doctor or hospital. The, the thing is that they, they wasn't gonna cover the, uh, the cost of Dr. Gelman. That's, that was the end. But by the end, they did cover, and did cover most of it. Almost, I must say about 98% of it. As much as that with, uh, with Dr. Gelman uh, services and uh, the hospital. The hospital, yes. Surgery, before that, again, I had about 11 procedures that they put me to sleep. I'm like, that doesn't get me nervous, I, but I was confident. I was anxious. I used to tell my girls when I was at home, my family, that my, I, that I was about to get into the surgery. It was about after to know how I came out. And as soon as I saw, I saw my sister that told me that I was, the doctor said everything went well, well, you know, rest and I'll be fine. And I feel real confident and after, a little bit painful, a little bit painful because they took some tissues out of my, my shake from the inside my shake. If I, he didn't have enough, he was gonna take from the bottom of my lip. And I was sore. I was sore, uh, not the first day, the next couple of days. And then by the third, fourth day, I felt better. The, when I walked out of the hospital, better by the day better by the day, and uh, so far, so good. Uh, the surgery was done November the 6th of uh, 2008. So, second anniversary is coming up within about, uh, what, a week from now, from today. And couldn't feel better. Could not feel better. Uh, thank God every, every day that, uh, that I wake up and go urinate. <laughs> and, it feels good. It feels good. Never thought in my life that I was going to feel like this. I always wish I did, but I'm, I'm feeling great. I, I now sometimes I think about it, but it seems 10, 15, 20 years ago that I had that problem because now I go urinate and in seconds I'm done and I feel like I just empty my bladder completely e e empty. He changed my life. It changed my life, my, uh, my view of life, my attitude, and I thank him, and I know my family, my two girls will take him from the bottom of the heart, and God bless his hands.